Okay, we're going to discuss changing bases, which we covered in the last lecture. So imagine that you have a system prepared in a state which we're going to call capital Psi 0, and we'll put that in a ket. This could represent um, uh, an atom in a trap, um, and it means that we're probably not in any specific eigenstate of the system, but um, we're going to write it as a sum over states i of a coefficient ci multiplied by some basis functions, phi i. And for those of you who want to go along with it, they, this is the state that Ron told Hermione he had prepared. Now, of course, we discover that this is a mistake. So what we actually want to do um, is to change the basis. So we want to represent ket capital Psi 0, so the same state, in a different set. So let's say sum over j of a coefficient dj multiplied by um, a set chi j. And the real question is, can we find the coefficients dj from the coefficients ci? That's the real question that we're wanting to answer today. Um, the answer, of course, is yes, we can. And how do we do that? Well, we expand. Uh, we expand each of the states phi i in terms of the states chi j. We've done this before in lectures, so for a general state psi, we've expanded that in terms of a basis set. And in fact, if you look back up at the very first thing I wrote, the psi zero, we're expanding that in a basis. So there's no reason why we can't expand phi i in terms of chi j. If we were going to do that, we would write ket phi i is a sum over j of some numbers s j i multiplied by chi j. We have s j i because we have to have a set of coefficients for each state i, each state of phi i. We know from before that in general the element s k i is going to equal bra chi k ket phi i. That gives us a means to calculate these um, coefficients s. So now we write ket psi zero is equal to the sum over s over i of c i phi i. But now we substitute in for phi i, so that's equal to the sum over i c i multiplied by the sum over j of s j i chi j. We can now combine the sums and say that's the sum over i and j of c i s j i chi j. And if we want to, we can now deduce that d j is given by the sum over i of s j i multiplied by c i. And notice that this takes the form of a vector matrix multiplication. So this is the important formula, and we have dj being the coefficients of a vector, sji being the coefficients of a matrix, and ci being the coefficients of another vector. I hope that presents the basic idea clearly. Remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to calculate the coefficients d from the coefficients c. Um, and to do that, we use this matrix, capital S, which is known as, so S, J, I, is known as a similarity transform.